is nothing more than a prophet. Yes. And they say that Muhammad is the better prophet, right? Yes, they do. And that he is the greatest prophet. After all the line of prophet, he is the final one. Apparently, according to The them. seal of all prophets. Yes, according to them. Daniel, do you have a problem with that? Big problem. Do you believe that Muhammad really is a prophet? No, I don't. <laughs> Why? Go ahead, help us here. Because as a, as a prophet, you can't have false prophecies and claim it to be from God. And Muhammad had six false prophecies according to the hadith. Okay, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Come, 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 come here. Let's talk. Go, 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 go,
of 100 years from this night. From this night, 100 years. And we are now 1,400 years, years 14 times and that. And we're still living. And we're still here. So there has not been a final coming. Have you noticed the Muslims have all gone away? Why have the Muslims left? We're reading their material. These are their traditions. This is why Muslims need to be careful about the claims they make about Muhammad. Yes. If this is your own traditions, the most authoritative hadith by Sahih Buhari, Sahih Muslim, this is Sahih Buhari, book 41, number 7053. That's Sahih Muslim, no, the, sorry. This one. Sahih Bukhari, volume 1, book, book three. 3, number 116. So here you have both Muslim and Sahih Buhari, both of them, the two most authoritative, both saying that these people would not be, will still be living when the end of time comes. Yes. yes. The end of time has not come. We would not be here today. We would not be on this ladder. You would not be at Speaker's Corner if that were correct. Yeah, so Which I means wonder, Muhammad is incorrect. I wonder yeah. why Muslims still follow Muhammad when you clearly see that he prophesied false claims. Why do you still follow him? That's the question we're asking now, today. There are two things every prophet should do. Yeah. One is prophecy. What's the second thing? Miracles. Miracles is the other thing to prove they're a prophet. Otherwise, they're just like you and me, right? Yeah. So we have now shown three different references. We could go on more. We've got, we've got more, but... For lack of time, lack of we don't time. want to go on to any of the others. Yes. But we have shown in both the greatest of the traditions, Muhammad came up short on prophecy. Yes, he, he was not a prophet. So was he a miracle worker? No. no. Come on, Muslims, he help me here. No, help me do my homework. <laughs> We don't want to waste your time. He's going to yell at us for not waste time, yeah, giving us any answer. Yes. And I think that is typical because Muslims do not have an answer for this. No, they don't. How can he call himself a prophet if he did no prophecy and the prophecy that he complained to have made, as we have seen in both Sahih Muslim and Sahih Buhari, are false prophecies? Yes. And secondly, he never did any miracle to prove he's a prophet. Yes, sir. <laughs> did Jesus do miracles in the Quran? Yes, he did. In the Quran, did he do no, miracles? No, 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 no. Yes. Yes, he did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, he did. Where in the Quran did he do miracles? Surah 3, Ayah 49. Surah 3, Ayah 46. In Surah 3, Ayah 46, Jesus, Issa, he's known. Yes. As a little baby, speaks from the cradle. Yeah. Now, could you speak from the cradle? No. Could anybody here speak from the cradle? No. no. Do you believe Jesus spoke from the cradle? No. Um, no, I know he did not. But the Quran suggests he did. Yes. It's very clear in the Quran, in Surah 3, Ayah 46, that Issa spoke from the cradle. Yeah. Could Muhammad speak from the cradle? No. no. Zero. Jesus so here was you over can... Muhammad. He was exalted above Muhammad even in the Quran. Yep. Now three verses later. Come, come closer. Surah 3, Ayah 49. What do you want to say? So what's the difference between both of them? Sorry? What's the difference between the two miracles? The difference between the two miracles. When he was a baby, right? Yeah. That's what he said. Muhammad did it. So what's your, what's, what are you trying to get out of that? I'm trying to figure out, did Muhammad do any miracles? It's a miracle for a baby to speak from the cradle and say what he did. Where do you have any evidence of Muhammad speaking from the cradle? Show me one verse in the Quran that supports what you've just said. Give me a verse. Give me a verse. Did you hear what we said? You claim, I've been standing there for 10 minutes, your evidence, yeah, you quote with a lot of things. So, can you back it? We just, just did. No, hold Surah on, hold on. 3, Ayah 46. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Your own Quran. Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. You're going to give me the chance to speak? You're going to give me the chance to speak? What you say? Okay. You just said, you quoted, you yourself, you quoted three things from the Hadith, yeah? Yeah? Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. I, mean, I heard you loud and clear. Okay. What's your understanding of it? How can you tell me? Come now to the miracles. Excuse me. Can you please stick with the miracles? Here we go. Stick with the miracles. Okay, already with Ma we looked at already the prophecy. And we saw that Muhammad not did once, but twice, but three times false prophecy. Using his own tradition. 
Now when we get to miracles, he doesn't want to speak about it. No. They're hiding. They always hide. How could he be a prophet? How could he be the greatest of all prophets? How could he be the seal of all prophets if he did nothing to prove he's a prophet? Yes. He's not a prophet. That's why. <laughs> Moses could do miracles, could he not? Yes. Elijah could do miracles. Yes. Every prophet did miracles. Every prophet of Jesus did miracles. Yes. Yes. Then why could Muhammad not even do one miracle? He's a false prophet. Come on, Muslim. Wake up. He spit the moon. Be careful who you're calling a prophet. He spit the moon. Where did he spit the moon? I'm just asking you. Let's look and see where it is. Surah 54, Ayah 1. Let's see if Muhammad split the moon in your Quran. Are you a Muslim? <laughs> okay, this is Surah 54, Ayah 1. The hour has drawn near, and the moon has been cleft asunder. And if they see a sign, they turn away and say, this is a continuous magic. They deny, past tense, that this happened. Now, when did that take place? This is a future reference to the end of time. When the moon is cleft asunder, then is the end of times. Look at any tafsir. You can go to Baidawi, you can go to Zamakshari, you can go to Tabari. They all say that this is the future when it's going to happen. It has not yet happened. So where's Muhammad's name there? He's not even mentioned. This has nothing to do with Muhammad. When the moon is cleft asunder, then get ready for the end of times. That is yet to happen. Where 1400 years after Muhammad, the moon has still not been cleft asunder. It's still the moon that I know of. Embarrassing. At least the last time I looked. <laughs> okay, let's move on. We still want to know where this prophecy is of Muhammad. Now, for 35 years, we've asked that question. What did Muhammad do to prove he's a prophet? Go on. What are some other problems? Well, we still have that problem of Sahel Bukhari, another narration. Since the prophet prayed on Isha prayer last days, after finishing it, he again said, this is another narration in the same book, Sahel Bukhari, he said the end will come before, no, he said the end will come a hundred years from this night. Again, he's saying the same thing. So Al-Bukhari, the most authoritative hadith, yes. he's now reiterating what he said in Sahih Muslim, a hundred years later, the end of times would come. He said, nobody will be present on the surface of the earth tonight will be living after the completion of 100 years from this night. That was 1400 years ago. We're still here. 14 times that has come and gone. Yep. And still we're here. Yep. We're so that's here. another problem with Muhammad. Yes, problem Folks, after problem. You see why we do this week after week. We, every time we come up with something new. You've not heard this before. You notice the Muslims have not heard this before. Yet everything we do, we quote their traditions. We go to their hadith. This is not made up. We give you the name. We give you the place where you can find us. We go to the Quran. We went to Surah 3, Ayah 46. We went to Surah 3, Ayah 49. Now in verse 49, it says that Jesus, Isa, took some clay, made it into birds, blew on it, and they flew up into the air. Which means he created out of clay some birds. It does say in the Quran afterwards, at the permission of Allah. Yes. So Allah gave him permission to do so. Yes. Did Allah give Muhammad permission? No. Not once. You know, you're an ex-Muslim. You know that. You used to be a Muslim. No? Okay. I'm a specialist. Oh, you're a specialist. You're a specialist. All right. Now, can you see why we're bringing this up week after week? Yes. You need to be careful who you're following. Yeah. Oh, but I love Jesus. Jesus. Oh, even the Quran seems to love Jesus. Yep. Everyone loves Jesus. In fact, every Muslim I met loves Jesus. No one hates Jesus. What's not to love about Jesus? Yes. He's Jesus so easy did. to love. Yes. But what Jesus says, he does. When Jesus prophesies, it comes to pass. When he does a miracle, he does it. He prophesied about his death and resurrection. It happened. And he did he it with the authority of his own voice. Exactly. He said he would resurrect and he resurrected. We have historical evidence. 
Folks, be careful who you follow. Be careful who you trust. Come back to Jesus. Forget about Muhammad. We've already shown you two reasons not to go to Muhammad. He did not do any prophecy, and the ones he did were completely false. false. He could not do anything to prove he's a prophet. We're still waiting today, 1,400 years later, still asking the same question. Yes. What's the purpose of Muhammad? Who is he? Nothing. And why should we follow him? Nothing. Even though Muslims have now gone, they don't want to defend him. Gone. Thank God I can defend Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on help, folks. Yeah. We have one man, one name, one Savior, and his name is Jesus. Jesus. Amen. What is his name? Jesus. What is his name?